In Glide, you spend a lot of time in the data editor, but some of its features can remain undiscovered for a while. So we've got 10 tips for you here for working in the data editor. If you're building a complex project, the data editor can become a pretty confusing space to work in, not just because there's loads of horizontal scrolling, but because there's just too much detail. Column grouping lets you alleviate this by grouping columns together. This lets you see groups, collapse groups, and creates these neat little folders in the layout editor when you're picking column values. To do this, write the name of the group followed by a slash before the title of each column. Quick beauty tip here, if you add emojis, the folder icon will be replaced with the emoji. Okay, so say you have a massive table and you've organized it all with column groups. This is great, but what if you want to add a new column? Previously, you had to scroll all the way to the right, add it, and then drag it all the way back. Well, not anymore. You can now click the drop down menu in a columns header and add one to the right. Often you'll find you do a lot of work on something in Glide and then want to duplicate that and use it somewhere else. Now we've had copy and paste for components for a very long time, but until recently you couldn't kind of do this thing in the data editor. Now if you have a crazy complex computed column set up and you want to duplicate it and tweak it for another purpose, you can. So full disclosure here, this one slipped past me for probably about six months. I didn't even know it was there. So in the data editor, if you have a date column, you can just write natural language and it will mostly get what you say right. This is useful for lots of reasons, but I find it particularly useful when I'm building out dummy data and quickly adding dates. Sticking with dates and times for a second, I want to introduce you to the now value. Now, a lot of people don't know about this one, or if they do know about it in one place, they don't realize it's in lots of different places. So let's say we need to always know what the date will be in seven days time. In the math column, you can just write n plus seven and then replace n with the value now. Now you'll find this value in lots of other places as well, whenever you're dealing with dates. Previously, we used the math column to work out the difference between two dates, and it took a little bit of setup and wrangling to make it work right. But now we have a really neat computed column called date difference. Just select two dates and the unit of difference, and you're done. Relation columns link items across different tables. They're really useful, but they can sometimes be really hard to think about and visualize. But now in the data editor with relations, you can preview the records that are brought back, allowing you to understand a relations data without leaving that table. And you can even edit that data. If you ever need to get your data out of your glide tables or indeed other data sources, you can just right click on any table in the data editor to export that data. Again, this will work with glide tables and any of your other data sources, and it also will include user specific data. Glide tables are incredibly fast and can hold lots of data. They're also always available to be linked with any project in your team. For example, if you have a glide table full of employee data, you can use that in all of your apps. So everything stays in sync. Unfortunately, currently computed columns aren't synced between your projects, but we'll make this possible in future. A lot of people don't know that you can actually copy and paste values into the data editor. If you have the right number of columns and rows, you can paste data from your clipboard right into Glide Tables or any other data source. So that's it, 10 quick tips for working in the data editor. Now, it seems like these videos are kind of getting well received by you guys. So if you have any other ideas or areas that you want tips on specifically for building with Glide, leave some comments down below and let us know what we can help you with. We'll catch you soon.